Bajik Bamila, <laughs> Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajik Bamila, attacks Buhari, tells him straight on, security very terrible under your watch. You know, they need to start telling themselves the truth. Enough of the pretense. It's This is the first time since 1960, yes, that the president of the country, the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Senate presidents are all from the same religion, all from the same. I mean, when you look at it very well, you understand that we are in for, um, I mean, this season, only God can truly save us. What is happening already? We are really in this one. You know, since 1960, you know, when Nigeria formally gained independence, you know, and up until now, this is the first, I mean, the very first time you have these three people, you know, be of the same, you know, a, a party. And also, I mean, it's, it's, un, it's, un, it's, un, it's unprecedented. That's why things are the way they are. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Security is still very terrible under Buhari's watch. Bajik Bamila attacks Buhari. The security is still very terrible. Buhari has been, de has been denied and declared by Nigerian army that they have been defeated. But still on, they keep committing havoc. Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajik Bamila said, although Buhari has been declared defeated by Nigerian army, but the activities is still on. So what exactly is, be, is defeat? What does it mean? Security is still very terrible under the watch of President Muhammad Buhari. Mr. Gbajik Mamila made this statement while addressing journalists after praying Salah homage to paying Salah homage to Buhari's hometown in Dara on Friday, saying the APC led governments some have found some difficulty and the grants are very shaky it says the all progressive congress government led by buhari came to power promising to tackle insecurity corruption and pursue economic prosperity for the country but security is still very terrible we came on the mantle of security anti-corruption economy growth and if you want to be objective, we are not where we were, even in 2015. Mr. Gbajik Bamila said, the security is terrible. Boko Haram is still causing and wrecking havoc in the northern part of the country. Blaming successive government, the speaker argued that APC-led government inherited this difficulty, which they are trying to walk and to summon, but the mountain seems so high. I thought that by now we would have dealt with it. It's the it is difficult. Don't get me wrong. We met some difficulties on ground, yes, and we are working and building slow and steady. That's what Mila says. So many people will die before you slow and steady. Keke, Abi. Speaker of the House said President Muhammadu Buhari Garuba Shewu had in April blamed Nigeria media for reporting insecurity in the country like something new, just rubbishing the government and Mr. Buhari. There is, there is a determination by the people to make security a narrative of what is happening, especially towards the election of 2023. We are sad that these things are happening. We are not happy at all. People are still being killed each day. Ah, is it, <laughs> you don't understand. By the second. <laughs> but the very reports don't, going on makes it look like it's Buhari's struggle alone. The other day, I was reading a newspaper to the audience, New Nigerian newspaper, reporting kidnapping of November 7th, 1966 in the Midwest. Mr. Shewu said, if something like that happened today, it will be reported as though it has never been, that kind of incident has never happened in the country. It's not Buhari's fault totally. Not anybody is really, not everybody's anybody's fault really. But in the last past five months, bandits has lodged coordinated attack in communities, killing, adopting school students, hundreds across Castina, Niger, Zamfara State, about 136 students kidnapped in, recently. Niger state and majority adopted Bethel Baptist School in Kaduna. Students are still in bondage as we speak now, even at the time of the filing of this report. On, on, on Sunday, July the 18th, a Nigerian aircraft was shot down by the same bandits 
the pilot was fortunate to escape, but with injuries. So, Gbatu Bamila, I'm glad you are speaking like this. I'm very glad that you are beginning to speak like somebody, you know, I don't want to use a very, I don't want to use an insultive word. It's not very nice to say that on air. But, you know, I, I have a lot of things against you, Gbatu Bamila. You were the one who invited Buhari some time ago to come and answer the house. Like, is due your office with regards to why insecurity it is the way it is? The North bullied you. They, 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 they scold you to one corner to, to silence. And guess what you did? Today, that matter has died a natural death. You, should I tell you what you are? You are an accomplice to everything that is going on in this country. All of you in power. All of you. From the president to the vice president, everybody and anybody that knows about what is going on and is quiet in the face of all that is happening. <laughs> Do you know that even in the court of law, an accomplice is dealt with? Uh, you don't know. Please find out. You did not commit the crime, but you aided it. You supported it. You knew about it. You were quiet and you allowed it to happen. My dear, it is called an accomplice. Eh, that's the way they describe it. Somebody like that. You did not commit the crime. It was not your idea. But you got to know about, know about it. And that this was going to destroy life and property. But my brother, your mouth was as silent as a mouse. Listen, do you know what you are called? You aided it. Because if you have said something, guess what? Something would have been done. If you have told the person your life is in grave danger, there is this, that, that, that coming. Or you have informed the authority. Who knows? That situation may have been averted. But what did you do? You knew about it. You went on business as usual, as if nothing has happened. You know what you have done? You've aided it with your silence. You don't know they say silence is consensus. That's why when they ask you, are you for us or against us? If you don't say anything, it's assumed you are for us. For if you have an alternative, uh, you know, d d matter with regards, I mean, position with regards to the matter, you know what you will do? You will state your objection. But for the fact that you, I mean, you can't be bothered. You're not, you don't mind. You are an accomplice. Every one of you. Wait till oh, it's called judgment day. They coin not far. It they front. They wait for everybody. You go reap what you sow. God go help. Don't worry. Don't worry. Not go tell now. All of us go see him. God bless you. Please leave us a comment. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. God bless you. Bye for now.